All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to give you a quick update on the BYD battery project. I received the Chargery BMS in the mail a couple days ago, and here is my test setup. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. I want to show you first this fuse block I've gone ahead and installed. My balance leads are coming off the cells and going into the fuse block with three amp fuses. I'll leave all the links below in the description. This is a nice little fuse box. It didn't have a back cover, which I found kind of odd. So I went ahead and 3D printed a back cover. It's only one millimeter thick, and then I went ahead and cut it to the actual fuse block, and it worked out pretty well. Glued it in, and it's pretty solid. Let's go ahead and look at a couple other things. So after it hits the fuse block, it goes into a terminal block. This is where I can send the wires into the actual BMS interface and then from here it goes into the actual display it just connects through one of the com ports a couple other things in the setup for testing i have a voltage regulator this is uh, being powered by my bench power supply this will do 10 amps though my power supply can only do 5 amps so i'm only running up to 5 amps to charge this battery then i'm running a small 300 watt pure sine wave inverter some things that hook into the bms i have a 300 amp shunt here the inverter, the negative goes into the shunt, as well as the shunt connects back to the battery. There are a couple of voltage sense leads that come off the shunt and go back to the BMS, as well as some alarms, audio alarm and a LED alarm. Now the BMS serves two functions. It's meant to add a level of protection as well as help balance the individual cells in the battery. I went ahead and also purchased the relay kit now with this relay, this will interface with a future breaker that has a sense on it and I'll be able to shut off the breaker using the relay off the BMS. Let's say there's a cell that's too hot or I'm outputting too much voltage. I can use the relays here to control uh, the breaker and other items I add. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the display. You can see my cell voltages. It's pretty much in balance. I'm off by 47 millivolts. Right now I have the BMS set to try to balance down to 20. And I'll go ahead and show you the balance features in a little bit here. So all the information you need about the battery and the cells is in this page. It's sort of my favorite page. Let's keep going through here. You can see the cells there. Red means the highest and lowest, but they're fairly in balance right now. I'm finding good results under 3.4 volts. And let's go back to the other page. Now it's pretty easy to program this BMS. Just hold down the start button and it brings you into all the different variables for um, setting your voltage and, and setting up alarms. Everything you need to do is in this page for the program setup. Um, I will show you one thing, the balance perimeter. Let's go check that out. And this is pretty important. Um, I've gone ahead and used the default. It starts balancing at 3.2 volts for the cells. And then I set the differential for 20 millivolts. I'm going to try I know that's pretty low for a high capacity battery, but the lower the better. And then I went ahead and turned on all these perimeters for charge, discharge, and storage. So if this battery is charging, or if it's discharging, or if it's in storage, this BMS is going to try to balance the cells. So again, the BMS serves two purposes. It's for protection and it's for balancing. And I'm really hopeful that this is gonna work out in my project. Just a couple thank yous and shout outs. Wanna thank Randy from Kentucky for sending me these awesome bus bars. Thank you so much. I will put these to good use. Randy, you're an awesome guy, a true Southern gentleman, and thanks for thinking of me. I also want to thank Craig, who's a subscriber to my YouTube channel. He sent me this tip about the original BMS for the BYD module. If you open it up and you take out this top board, and some of them don't have the top board, it reveals this connector. You can go ahead and plug in your balance leads to this connector while this BMS is still connected to the BYD module, and you can take your uh, voltage readings for each of the cells here. I believe this connector on the end is negative then it works its way over to eight So thank you Craig for that tip and thanks for subscribing and watching and contributing to the project and good luck with your BYD batteries
All right guys, it's pretty cool running some devices off this battery and going ahead and working and testing and cycling these batteries. Looking forward to the results and getting these batteries up to speed so I can deploy them later on this spring for our pool project. All right guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment below and please come on back for more videos. Take care.